Hello, everyone. It is once again time to discuss an anime. Today we're talking about, as you can see here, Call of the Night. It is a nighttime-based story, as one might guess by the title. It centers around a kid named Yamori, and he's a, a middle school kid. He's like a perfectly normal person, right? He just doesn't have like any uh, what is what would you say like drive or knowledge or understanding of love and stuff like that. And so, one day, a classmate confesses to him, and he rejects her because he just does not understand love. And so, she gets upset, goes off and cries. And her friends kind of like confront him about it and is like, what the hell's wrong with you? Why did you reject her? All that kind of stuff. You know how it goes, right? And uh, he basically quits school because he's like tired of maintaining a facade of like caring about all that nonsense. And after he uh, quits school, he decides to, you know, walk around at night because he has insomnia and he can't really sleep very well anymore. So he sneaks out of his uh, apartment with his parents and stuff at night and just starts walking around. Just, you know, going around, doing weird things. He, he just swings on the swing sets at night when no one's around, walks through the streets randomly. And then he meets this girl, Nazuna Nanasuka. Nanakusa? Yeah, Nanakusa, my bad. Uh, Anyway, Nazuna is this uh, silver-haired girl you kind of see here who just kind of gets real close next to him without him, like, realizing it as he's uh, at a vending machine. And she basically escorts him around during the night, talking about the allure of the night and all this kind of stuff. And uh, eventually they end up back at her apartment. And... What happens then is she basically says that he can sleep there since he has insomnia and whatnot. And she waits for him to go to bed, or at least she thinks he's asleep, before she bites his neck and sucks his blood because she is a vampire. And that's how everything starts. He, of course, reacts to this and says, uh, what was that? As she has a little bit of blood still on the side of her mouth. And uh, she tries to play it off, saying it was a mosquito. And he's like, no, nah, you're like totally a vampire. And thus begins their relationship of uh, the, the boy who wants to learn more about the night and the vampire who knows about the night and all this. Um, they also do more discussion about how to become a vampire and like if she bit him, isn't he now a vampire? And the way to become a vampire is to... Uh, get bitten while you are in love with the vampire. So in order for this to happen, uh, Yamori would need to be in love with Nazuna, right? Uh, and then once she drinks his blood, he would become a vampire. And so our boy Yamori never really had a goal in life or anything like that. But now he has a goal to become a vampire. So his goal is to fall in love with Nazuna and have Nazuna drink his blood so that he can become a vampire. And thus begins the story of them doing that. You know, it's also, it should also be mentioned that Nazuna, she loves like dirty jokes and saying lewd things and stuff like that. But she gets really embarrassed and flustered when talking about love and romance. So when Yamori says stuff like, I'm going to fall in love with you, and all this kind of stuff. She gets like flustered and blushes and all that stuff. It's just cute as hell. Uh, but anyway, as you can guess from a vampire thing, there's all kinds of you know stuff going on with them messing around in the night. She uh, picks him up, flies around the sky uh, with him in her arms. Uh, at one point, she drops him off a building and catches him before starting to fly in the night. And that's very interesting and cool and whatnot. But it's... Uh, it's kind of a, a romance supernatural show. So it's about Yamori trying to fall in love with Nazuna, as well as the whole vampire thing going on, 
And as he goes through the night and uh, I guess answers the call of the night, one might say, he you know meets a couple more people who are also enthralled by the night and do things at night and all this good stuff, you know. And it's just a grand old time. Now, I have read the manga, at least part of the manga. Once I heard it was getting a, an anime, I, I stopped. So I think I only got maybe like 10 chapters in. So I don't know much. Maybe only the first like three or four episodes is what I would know. Uh, so far, it's only been two. But it's already really highly rated on my anime list. It's got an 8.01, which is honestly the highest rating I've seen when we're coming about a uh, new anime coming out. Everything else has been like six or seven, but I've, I've barely ever seen an eight. Uh, so it's cool. Yeah. Anyway, I really enjoy it. It's been really chill. There is just a lot of like nighttime stuff going on. You don't have like a bunch of people around because it's night. You have the like purple blue hues that you see here uh, because it's night. Of course, and there's just like street lights and like the glow of the moon and stuff to really illuminate the place. So everything's got this nice, like mysterious, like dark feel to it. It's really cool. I, I really like how it's done. And uh, Nazuna is also cool. I like her. The way she just like has this like cloak jacket thing that like. When she's flying, it floats around her, and when she's like on the ground, it like just collects around her body and stuff like that. It's it's really cool. It's just so cool. The uh, the kid, he's just a generic kid, honestly. There's nothing really too special about him. He doesn't have like a really cool style or anything like that. He's not a complete beta male like a lot of romance main characters are where they're like oh god a, a, a nape of the neck kind of thing he like just seems pretty chill about everything but i guess that's also attributed to his whole thing about not really understanding love and all of that so i don't know i, I find it refreshing to have a main character who just like knows what he wants and doesn't really care about everything else like he's like yeah i'm gonna fall in love with you and that's gonna be my plan and he's not like, oh, do I have these feelings of love? I don't know. But, like, it's cool. Like, obviously, it's not going to be one of those, oh, what is this feeling I feel on my chest? You know, kind of things. Because if he's in love, he's going to become a vampire. Like, even if he does not understand the feelings, right? He should still become a vampire. Even if he uh, is in love with her, but just doesn't realize it. According to how vampire stuff works, right? So... It's going to be cool. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. It's a pretty good one in the series. Very highly rated already, as far as I can tell. And, uh, yeah. Good stuff. So after this one, we have... Uh, one, two, three, four... Five. We have five more uh, animated review. Ah, excuse me. Pick up. Uh, we have five more anime to view. We got uh, When Will Amiu Make His Move? Uh, we have Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer. My mom's stepdaughter is my ex. We have Buchi Giri. Sorry, the, the, the hesitation was because I think actually my mom's stepdaughter is my ex had its second episode and I just forgot to record something. So I'm actually doing it after this one. Yeah. Crap. And then we have, uh, of course, Black Summoner which is another isekai from this season that I read the manga of, and I enjoyed it thoroughly, so it's going to be cool. But anyway, I should probably end things here. And yeah, now that I think about it, I definitely saw the second episode of My Stepmom's Daughter is My Ex, so I need to do a video on that one. So I will let you all go and do that, and that one will be up here like it has been in the last next couple of minutes. So until next time. Bye for now.